All right, it's April 14th, and um, uh, going over all of my fly traps, and it looks like most of them that will be flying are, and it looks like the bigger the stalks are, I mean the bigger the plants are, the fatter the flower stalks will be. So right here, I have five of these DCXLs that are putting out flower stalks. And here's my SD Chronos. All these are putting up flower stalks have been in the fridge for three months from the 1st of December till the 1st of March. This one has some white flies on it but it's not an issue because there's these little spiders that eat them. And it looks like the small ones don't put them out. Here's my new B-52, which is not big enough to put out a flower stalk yet, but it already has very pretty big traps, about an inch in size. And here are the ones that I kept out all winter long. This is my SD Chronos. And the one thing that I find if I keep them all, all winter long is they're going to have this reddish coloration inside of the, the traps. But there's no flower stalks, no matter how big they are. For example, these two, or even these three, are definitely big enough to put out flower traps, but since they're out all winter long, I guess, I guess it didn't get cold enough for them to put out flowers. Here's a DCXL that was out all winter long. Did about half and half. If these start getting weaker, because they didn't really get a dormancy, I could easily just stick them in the fridge for, uh, for a couple more months. Which I might do if I see that they're falling quite a bit behind the ones I did uh, put in the refrigerator. But as you see, it seems like they're having a really hard time coming out of dormancy. But probably give it a few more weeks and see if they actually start growing. If they don't, it might take a little bit of time in the fridge to get them what they need. Here's my Drosera Regia. It's about six inches tall. And it looks like it's actually faring a lot better than it did last year because it has a lot more mass on it. This one actually uh, tends to prefer cooler conditions because when it gets hot. These leaves can burn and the dew can dry up. I actually have a Drosera ordensis. This ordensis is actually doing pretty good. It has a flower stalk on it. I'll just let it flower and see what happens. And look what we got here. My Saracenia has actually a fly is going inside already. And it's starting to get a little bit bigger. And as they get bigger, you can see some of them might turn out to be red and some are turn out to be white. So, this is a variation in the uh, genetics. Like this one right here is turning out to be very red. It looks like this one's going to be very white. My Drosera capensis, which I might have to put inside the greenhouse. Doesn't seem to take the sun too well. And 
And in the greenhouse, I have this little bucket of water, which I can raise the humidity a little bit. And I actually keep my Drosera uh, Bermanis in here. And which they kind of like. This one keeps on trying to put out flower stalks. And it's taking out a lot of its energy, so I've been taking it off. This one's trying to pull one out too.